Welcome to another episode of LEGO Worlds. I am Utrop, and today we are doing a different type of brick build. I decided to build something from Jurassic Park. Um, Jurassic Park is one of my favorite movies of all times. And I was th thinking, what can I bu build for, for today? Because I want to make things a little different. So I decided I'm going to try and build something from Jurassic Park. The best I can. And see what you guys think. So here we have our first uh, post, which I'm going to make a couple of these. I was building this this morning. I might add more stuff to it later. I don't know yet. But I did enjoy this build. Because it gave me the sense of idea where do I want to take my next project. Um, the thing I like about th this build is that it was different from my normal builds. It wasn't, it wasn't simple. I mean, I, I has try and space it out the best I can, and pl play around with it till I got to the way I liked it. I'm still working on the Valentine's Day Lego s stuff for you guys, which ain't gonna be unveiled till Valentine's Day. So, I'll try and juggle projects around here and there. So, I took time out from doing some of my Valentine stuff to work on this project here. And I, I noticed that LEGO Worlds gave us some of these neat um, dino cages and stuff but I wanted to make my own and I wanted mine to be almost as close to the movie as possible as you can see I'm putting up the fence this is not the right way to put up the uh, Fence. I used to own the Lego Jurassic World one of the fence park sets, and I like the way they did, did it better. But because we don't have all the Lego pieces, I'm making my own, <laughs> which is fine. I mean, it's fun making. The my own stuff. I mean, you do have to compensate. I understand we don't have all the Legos we would like to have in the game. So I'm going to try my best to, you know, just f f fence it out. I'm still curious about some of the showcases that might be coming out. I know t two of them look like they're for Easter. It makes me wonder what 
other showcases are com going to be coming out for next week. Or are they going to stick to a new pattern of putting out showcases? Because I was just surprised on one day they put out a showcase that normally doesn't come out on that day. And then they went back to putting it out the normal day. So I'll have to just wait and see what happens. Well, I know it's supposed to be a lot of big surprises coming, and I would like to see them all. <laughs> and I can't wait to show you guys everything they have for this game. So, building the Jurassic Park fence was actually fun. It was a little tricky. Like, I ha had the pillar in... The pillar was off by one. So I had to compensate and move it. Because I wanted it well to line up and look even. Um, I wanted to make it look close to movie accurate as possible using what Legos I had. Then, towards the end, I wanted to decide what dinosaur I wanted in here. We only have, like, two dinos. So, towards the end of the video, you guys will see which dino I actually picked out of the two. I will s continue with s s Lego Marvel Super Heroes uh, t 2 content. While I'm waiting for other g games to come out. Um, as of app games... It's a hit and a miss right now if I'm going to be doing more videos about app games. I mean, if I will play it and I see something I want to talk about on the app game, I'll make a video about it. But as of right now, It's a toss up right now. Will I be? Doing more in build in the Jurassic Park series, I might, and it all depends on what I can think is feasible to build with the Legos we have again, it's because I gotta take in consideration the Legos. We have, and I had taken in consideration what is possible to build with them. But this was just a um, f first r run of me building a Jurassic Park playset. on Le Lego Worlds, and 
I know I tried to build some in past videos just for fun to see what they w would look like if I used the Lego s sets they gave us and it was pretty cool. But I want to try to get it close to show accurate as po possible. And I do hope they do bring more dinosaurs <laughs> to this game. So, here I'm just testing out the dinosaur that I was talking about. And it hopped over the fence. He just jumped right over my fence. As big as the fence is, he jumped right over my fence. And I looked at this fence and I said, how did he do that? Because that amazed me. So, what I did was... I put flat panels on the top level to make it a little bit... Like, not the pegs exposed to it, so he couldn't jump over. Because I was wondering if the pegs were helping him jump over. I wasn't expecting the dancer to hop over a fence like that. So I have to try and fix that part to make sure he doesn't hop over the fence again. So I'm going to use this uh, flat panel to cover up the exposed pegs on top. As you can see, my fence does have the red and green lights. It's not the way it is on in the movie. They're supposed to be going fr from uh, up and down on the pole. But because the way I have it set up, I tr was going to try and make it that it was up and down. And... It then I realize it's easier just to put them like that. But it's still close to movie accuracy. Here I was just th thinking, was this going to work? What I'm doing, putting the panels down. That's why it's probably in a poor state right now. But it would be interesting if I can come up with different things for my Jurassic Park playset here. And I'm not going to say what my ideas are going to be yet. But I have some interesting ideas based off of other things I've seen from other lines of toys that may wind up being built. Here I'm reworking the post again because I don't have it lined up right. Will I be putting out 
any other game videos like Infamous Second Son. I know someone mentioned they wanted me to play that. And thing with that, it's an older game. I don't see the reason to really p play that game as of right now. So here I'm just tweaking my little fence. Well, big fence. That way I can get the panels to go around and hopefully keep the dinosaur from escaping. I did add in a tr tree eventually it's just to give it a little like jungle feel to it I didn't go overboard board with, with it like I normally do <laughs> but I will be working on probably other things things for Jurassic Park. I will be working on some other p p play sets for other th things. Like I did some environmental play sets that you guys have seen already. Um, I'm thinking of doing some other type of play sets that aren't environmental. I don't know where I'm going to begin yet. I'm just throwing around ideas. But you never know what will come out of my ideas and show up on YouTube at this point. But like I said, I had fun building this. And... I have many other Jurassic Park ideas I would like to try and... Build. But I have to wait and... See if I can, if I was right Legos to build it, and what it's going to look right like when I'm done. Because it doesn't take that long to build some of these things. So now I throw the dinosaur back in. Just to see how it reacts to the fence. And it looks like he can't uh, get through this time. So I'm happy with that. I might actually go back and flat pound the uh, other part of the fence later on. But for now, I'm just leaving it like that. Then when I put the tree in, that's when he pop popped out, but I know it ha had to do with me putting the tree in, so I then re the dinosaur back in. So this was a fun build. It was definitely a, something that was ex exciting to build. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And if you got any questions or comments, leave them 
in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next LEGO World episode. And we'll see what comes up in the next episode.